So, I have found a glitch on the F1 2021 game, which basically enables you, the player, to win a Grand Prix, no matter what car you are in. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to perform this glitch in the game. So I found this when I was doing my My Team career mode, I'm not exactly the cleanest player, so I directly caused a safety car when someone had tried to overtake me. Don't judge, that's just how I play. But anyway, the safety car rolled on. I pitted into a good position and all looked good. I was in 8th place in the worst car on the grid so a good chance for some points. As the safety car went to come in and the annotation to maintain speed popped up, what followed was everyone in front of me getting disqualified. For some reason, all the cars ahead just got impatient and overtook the safety car and I went and won the race. In the second season, the exact same thing happened so then I thought of how to really use this glitch to your advantage. So this is how you should use it. In the two examples that I'm going to show in this video, I'm going to be the Haas of Nikita Mazepin in a 20 5% race against 110% AI, the hardest in the game, to show that this glitch works for everyone. What I would recommend is on the weekend of the American Grand Prix, take any engine penalties you may have because you ideally want to start at the back of the grid. I would say to wait until the race has been going on for a few laps because it would be extremely boring if you aren't racing anyone for 11 or 12 laps in a 25% race. If you are starting at the back of the grid, you will need two safety cars to eliminate everyone. When you are on around lap 5 or 6, take someone out of the race bad enough that they retire and you don't get your tyre spazzing out of its tethers. So fast forward 6 laps and here we have Hamilton who I need to crash out because I was too slow to catch last place and he ends up taking me out but lost his front wing completely which caused the safety car. The safety car should be out and it will be out for 2 laps before it gives the message to maintain speed as the safety car comes in. This is when the magic happens. If you are in a competitive car and have rivals that you may want to drop points just let them pass during the safety car period and drop further back. When that sacred message comes up, watch as the AI ghosts and overtakes the safety car and everyone in front of you will get disqualified without fail. Try and dodge the cars ahead because they will come across the track looking for a place to pull over. If you want to win the race from 20th place on the starting grid, you will want two safety cars just because not every single driver gets disqualified straight away. So in this example, I left it too late if I wanted everyone to get disqualified. Because it is near the end of the race, another safety car would not deploy, and that is why you should do it early. In the example, I caused the safety car at lap 8, which meant another one would not deploy again due to it being near the end of the race. In this second example, I wanted to make a retirement on lap 1, just to ensure that we could get two safety cars in the race, because I'd found out that you can't actually get a safety car in the last few laps of a Grand Prix, on, at least on a 25% race. So as we come up to the straight, I'm looking to retire Nicholas Latifi because, uh, yeah, he's, he's at the back as well. Um, I let everyone pass apart from Latifi and if we crash him out, we get a safety car, we instantly get around 10 people getting disqualified, which is a big dub. Yeah, he comes back onto the track, debris across the track and when we just bring, bin him out and the virtual safety car deploys, it then goes to a full safety car so we've done two laps since the incident and we have reached turn nine <laughs> so it's time for the safety car to come in and look at the position counter on the right and as you watch you'll see half the grid get disqualified and during the second safety car you'll get to see exactly what the cars do to get disqualified
So we have reached the part of the circuit where all the shenanigans go down and we are in front of Giovanetti, which means only one thing. We have to destroy him. We have finally reached turn 12 and you're going to see every driver in front of me drive straight through the safety car and then get immediately disqualified. It then turned out that the two people I retired finished higher than everyone else who was disqualified so it's a win-win for everyone. I'm just going to let you watch this. Just, it, it's so weird. So as you can see, Mazepin has won the race in a half, so clearly this is a game breaking or at least race breaking glitch, as this doesn't work at any other tracks at the calendar. So in a quick summary, if you want to spice up the race by having half the grid essentially retire, aim for one safety car, but if you want to win from last place on the grid, you will need to cause two safety cars. It does vary how many drivers retire during the first safety car, but it is around 8 to 10. But if you're in amongst the midfield, I would aim to be 10th to 8th place and everyone in front of you will be disqualified from the race. It's probably easier to do in a 50% race as well, but as you've seen, it's still possible in a 25% race. And this glitch will happen no matter what the difficulty is. I have no idea why this even happened. It was very funny though when I first encountered it. This could potentially be an Xbox only glitch, but I have no idea if it is console exclusive because I can't find anything about this on YouTube or Google. So if you're the worst F1 2021 driver ever and are tired of the Mercedes dominance or probably the Williams dominance if you're in like season four and want to stand on the top of the podium at least once a season, yes, I'm talking to you Nikita, use this glitch to your advantage and hopefully by the time I upload this video, Cody's won't have patched it. Anyways, that is the end of the video and if you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like and make sure to subscribe for more F1 content potentially coming soon. I would love to do a My Team series on this channel, so if it's requested, then I will do it. Also, make sure to share this video with anyone you may know who can't even complete a lap of Austria without spinning or binning it in the barriers. And thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very, very soon and goodbye.